<laughs> all right, so I want us to talk about this issue, all right? It's getting deep. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Right now, it's 8.38 a.m. Get your ass up and get to work, all right? But y'all better be listening to me while y'all getting ready for work. So listen, this Coach Cooch question... It was juicy. And I like juiciness because we need to talk about these real issues. These are things that we really need to be talking about. Now, I'm going to get to the question. All right. So here's the deal. She didn't even say, hey, Coach Cooch. She said, so here's the deal. So when I get letters like this and they say, so here's the deal, my mouth start watering because I know it's about to be juicy. All right. So in quarantine part one, I was seeing a guy and I thought there was a vibe. After we became intimate, he switched up and was acting weird. Never wanted to do any sexual position that involved looking at my body. And didn't want to go down on me either. That's a sign. He later admitted that he was not expecting me to have the body I have. Basically a belly, I guess. I was shocked because I never had to deal with this before. I have lost over 100 pounds recently, but I still consider myself plus size and assume most men will expect a belly, stretch marks, and all that. Since I lost a lot of weight, there of course is some loose skin involved too. Now, as I am dating, I find myself worried that I'm going to continually come across this issue. I'm actually afraid to even go there physically and with anyone else. What do you think? Am I tripping? First of all, this question really grinding my gears. Let me explain something to you. Every bigger girl went through something like this before, all right? But, like I keep telling y'all, a real nigga's not going to... A real guy, because I'm, I'm not using the word nigga no more. I'm trying not to. A real dude is not going to make you feel insecure because you got a little belly and uh, things of that nature. If you're a plus-size girl, he should know what comes with being with a plus-size girl, okay? Plus-size girls, and, and, and most girls, because even skinny girls got stomachs. They got something about themselves that you may not be attracted to. But, bitch, if you ain't attracted to it, leave it alone. Like I always used to say, don't fuck with me if you can't fuck with me. All right. That's number one. You got to get you a man that like what he sees. He touch on that stomach. Let me tell you something. Having a belly don't stop nothing. Because you know what's going to happen with that belly? They're going to lift that belly up and they're going to eat that coochie like it's freaking sushi. OK, so the guy you dealt with is just not into that. And therefore, don't let him make you feel insecure. Fuck him. He's not the one. Every dude that we decide to give some vagina to is not going to be the dude for us, okay? I remember one time I had sex with some guy, and he was trying to, like, make it seem like that, too. Like, like he ain't know what the deal was. Like, if you're if not into the full body, then you need to go ahead and leave it alone. You understand know what I'm saying? And when I discovered that he was that type of guy, you're never going to touch me again. And that's another thing, like the... Oh, he didn't want to eat you out because you had a stomach? No, he doesn't want to eat you out, period. That's okay. Because sometimes you get those guys that try to play that game on you. But listen, this is not high school or college, okay? You ain't no Gucci. You better get the hell out the room. Ain't nobody playing. Listen, ain't nobody playing with nobody. See, when he didn't want to eat you out right there, you're supposed to pull up your panties and go to church and be out. You got know what I mean? You got to be out sometime on these guys. When they start acting funny, like, when, I guess you didn't see it until y'all started having sex that he was acting funny. But the reality of it is that once he eats you out, that was a sign that maybe this ain't the time to be playing with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you got to, you know, even though you have a sex, you got to still be thinking. You know what I'm saying? And I always look at how a man is treating you before the sex. So right there when he didn't eat you out, that's when you got to be like, all right, he's not really into me. So if he's not eating me out, this is not first grade. Like, this is not kindergarten, none of that stuff. He's not eating you out right there. You should have been like, all right, you, you, pull up my panties. It's time to go home. Because nobody got time to be playing games and wasting time. It had to be a sign that you missed before you had sex. See, this is why sometimes we got to take out time to get to know people before we try to give them some buns. Because we need to see, make sure that he's really attracted. He probably saw you with the poof on and thought your stomach was flat or something. I don't know. And then when he got the poof off, he saw the stomach wasn't flat. But I normally could tell if somebody is attracted to a thicker girl or not. I normally could tell. But sometimes you can't tell. But there was a sign with the men that I felt wasn't attracted to me because of my body. There was always a sign. But like I said, sometimes we be horny and lusty and we just miss the sign. But the reality of it is that you don't need to walk around and feel that type of way. You know what I'm saying? At all. You don't need to because there's so many men who will love you for you and like you for you. And there's so many men that will, will eat them drawers up in a, in a hot second. 
You understand what I'm saying? So, like I said, I want you more or less to look at the signs next time and talk to people. I always have nice conversations with people. And I don't listen to guys when they say, oh, I don't like skinny girls. Oh, I don't like big girls. Because let me tell you something. These dudes like whatever the fuck you're giving them, okay? They're going to take whatever you're throwing. So, like I said, it's his loss. If he don't like a girl with a stomach, that's his problem. The same, you, I don't want you to be insecure because you can have a guy one month that don't like the stomach, and then you have a guy the third month, second month, kissing the stomach. You gotta look for the signs. During foreplay, is he, is he touching the stomach? Is he looking at the stomach? Is he telling you to turn the lights off? Like, it's things that, it's little signs to tell if this man like you or not, or, or into your type of body. And first of all, if he know you're a little plus size, he's supposed to be making you comfortable. So he, so he's showing you the signs that he ain't got a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying you can see when a man is like, you can see when a man is like into your body or not. And I want you to look at those signs. Is he touching that stomach? Is he looking at that stomach? Do he look at other women with a stomach? Like we got to look at, make sure that, you know, what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, See, and that's the funny thing. Somebody said, well, me and him both had a gut. See, when somebody got a gut, I don't do guts. Because I already got a gut, you got a gut. We're not creating fires. I don't like the big fat gut thing. Because I'm already got a gut. We both can't have a gut. It got to be one gut, one knot. One knot, one gut. But at the end of the day, there is signs if a man is attracted to your big body or not. And like I said, have conversations. If you're feeling insecure, maybe you need to, next time you have a conversation, ask them, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, how you feel about thicker girls? And see what they say. And they be like, nah, I like it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, some people are going to be like, oh, I can't do nothing and they ain't at least two something. Then you know you're in the right class. But if you start talking to a guy, you're like, oh, how you feel about thicker girls? You're like, thick girls, well, I'm attracted to you. Then you kind of know, like, all right, he not really into thick or heavy women. He just attracted to you because some people are like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, my husband, he doesn't like big, big girls, all right? So I know I can't get too fat with this man because he'll be ready to be, he'll be ready to dump me. But in the end of the day, it, there are, there are exceptions to the rules because I don't like skinny men either, but I was attracted to my skinny husband. So there are exceptions, but I want you to just more or less talk to this man, communicate. But the first sign was him not giving you no head. If he ain't giving you no head, he not he shouldn't be in your bed we gonna have to get a shirt to say that and excuse me to all my christian heirs but listen he ain't giving no head he don't need to be in that bed he ain't giving no head he don't need to give in that bed right there foreplay tells me a lot about somebody right there and if you too big for him that's just too goddamn bad all right and he probably was little anyway and you and that's another thing i realized <laughs> i realized something about men the ones with the eeny weeny, teeny weeny, short, short men is the ones that got the problem with the big girls. Those guys that got the the tray, they ain't got no problem with a uh, with a big girl. But the guys that got the little Benny mini, they feel like you too big because your thigh is gonna cover half of their eeny mini, teeny weeny. You understand? So you you know like when you big or bigger. And you laying down, your thigh is flat. So if he's small, your thigh is gonna cover up half of his boom ding ding. So he can't handle it because he can't maneuver because you so big. And that's okay. There's different strokes for different folks. Literally. <laughs> it's okay. He got this water bottle still here. Yes, it's okay. So I understand why you might not like a bigger girl. It might be too, you, you might be too small to play with the big girls. And that's okay. Your tongue might be too small to move those hips out the way. When you are messing with a thick one, you got to have the equipment to do the job. Because guess what? We, we ain't going to be able to put our leg all the way up in there and have it because you small. We got to move this leg, move that leg to feel it. No, we don't got the time for that. Okay. You got to have equipment to do the job. And if you're just too small for the job, just say it. M miss, your thigh cover up half of my thing. I can't maneuver. And that's okay. And that's all right. Exactly. You got to have you you got to have your equipment. So baby girl, just look at it like this. He ain't got the equipment to play in this league. He ain't got the equipment. You know how they say you got to be at least this tall to ride this ride. Well, you got to be in it to win it, baby. You got to be able to get in it. Because a big girl don't come with a lot of instructions, baby. You got to know how to move it. And you got to know how to groove it, okay? So, if, if she's too big for you, 
that's okay. But you knew what you was getting yourself into. You can see in my clothes I'm a plus size girl. And if you couldn't see that, then I'm going to have to buy you some glasses. But I'm going to tell you, fellas, that's on this line. If you know that you ain't got the equipment to do the job, don't even start the job. I know sometimes, you, I know like bigger girls give y'all fetishes and y'all look at it on Instagram. You see a girl with a wide, low ass, 70 inches and 40 inches. You be like, wow, I want to try it. I want her to sit on me. I want her to do this. And then when you see it, you like, oh, shit, wide load, beep, beep, beep. This is why I don't mess with short men because one time, oh, one time I was backing it all up on a short man and I wasn't even as big as I am now. I was, this is like many years ago, maybe over a decade ago. I was backing it up, back, back, back it up. Now stop and wiggle with it. Child, he almost fell through the motherfucking wall with his little ass. I said, uh-uh, I can never, ever, ever mess with nobody that is little like that because them little men... They can't handle all of this. Even the ones that try, that's attracted to it. Sometimes they just a little too little. So you need somebody with a little height and a little weight on them so they can handle this low. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about backing it up. You know what I'm talking about, Laura. Backing it up. I'm talking about back, back, back. And he was like, whoa. And almost fell through the motherfucking door. Almost chipped Miss Minnie's tooth. This conversation is real out of pocket at 8.50 in the morning. But I'm just letting y'all know that... You ain't got to change up. Nothing that you doing. My phone ringing now. You don't got to stop. Nothing that you doing. <laughs> now, I'm making jokes of it because I want you to feel good about yourself. And like I said, you ain't got to change nothing you doing. Sometimes you're going to win some in life. You're going to lose some. You're going to have some that's attracted to you in life. You're going to have some that's not attracted to you in life. It happens, okay? It happens. Um... We can talk about OnlyFans definitely tomorrow. We can talk about it. Um, but um, <clears> there's <throat> a lot. There's a lot of men that like them. So if, if, miss, 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 um, Coach Cooch can hook you up with somebody that like it. I know a lot of men that like it. So don't feel like, um, you know, don't feel like you got to change anything. Don't feel like you got to be insecure. Um, it's a gamble in life. Life is a gamble. And like I said, some are going to like it. Some are not going to like it. Some going to eat it. Some not going to eat it. You know, the ones that didn't eat it. They had to beat it, and that was it. That's all. And like I said, he ain't giving no egg, she ain't getting in your bed. If you're not good enough for the tongue, you shouldn't be good enough for none. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? So that's why I love that Coach Cooch question. A lot of y'all walking around here insecure, and the reason why y'all insecure because y'all messing with dudes that are not attracted to you or do not like you. Don't mess with dudes that kind of like you or think they like you. You got to mess with dudes that like you like you. I'm sorry, but if you the ones that... Work for me is the ones that sweat me. You better, you better go ahead and pick that stomach up and go to work, boy. What the hell you think going on? But a stomach never stops anything. I don't care what nobody say. You just messing with the wrong men. All right. So, like I said, there's a lot of guys out here, and if they don't like it, oh well. See, and then what you should have did, I'll tell you another time what you should have did. I'll write it to you in the story, but don't worry about that at all. Um. Anyway, so that was a lot today. Um, yeah, it was that was a lot. That was a lot with that question, with that Coach Cooch question. It's crazy. Tomorrow, I'll tell y'all a story. Well, I got a couple minutes, so I'll tell you a story real quick before we go. So before we go, I'm going to tell you about when I met my last idol, which was Chris Rock. Chris Rock is the weirdest motherfucker in America. So Chris Rock, me and my husband walked into Magic City. That's a strip club. And I told the story before, so y'all know I'm going to be lying. Hey, sis. So, it's so juicy. So what happened was, me and my husband walked into Magic City in Atlanta, and then there's a lot of girls like trying to run to this area. So we knew it was a celebrity. So I was like, "Who the fuck is here? That ain't anybody running. What's going on?" So we turn around, and it's Chris Rock. And let me tell you what Chris Rock was doing. This is when I knew that this industry is too weird for me. Chris Rock had it was a lot of girls trying to be around him. But he didn't want a lot of girls around him, so he like kind of like kept throwing them money like to get away from him. He was like kind of throwing money to get away from him, and he just had one girl, right? And he was making her dance slow for him. So you know how all the girls like shake that money maker, shake that money maker, now get it and shake them titties. He had this girl. She was dancing like shake that money maker, titties, titties, and she just kept dancing real slow. And then he'll just be like giving her like hundreds not even 20s not even tens he was just throwing her hundreds slow so he's into some some crazy shit 
make my mouth water. He, she was moving all slow. Ask my husband, I swear to God. And she was a black, light skinned girl. And she was moving slow. And he would just give her hundreds. And I'm telling you, she had to make like $10,000. Because he was just throwing like. He was just throwing hundreds for her. And every time she would try to get faster, he'd be like, hold on. He was acting like and he got game. Remember when he got game? When Denzel was messing with the prostitute and she wanted to go all fast. And he was like, hold on, let me let me touch this. So that's what my homegirl needed with this guy in the bedroom. You need somebody going to touch slow, okay? So that's all it was. It was like a slow mode dancing. So if you ever meet Chris Rock and you're trying to brag, bag that, that man, don't go ahead and be like, shake that money maker. Now shake them titties. He wants it slow. Slow grinding. Grind with me. Pull up uh, and take your time with me. Only me would recognize that though, right? <laughs> Y'all can't have me around. I notice everything. I may not say nothing, but I notice everything. So like I said, it was the slow grind. So um, that's what we need to do now. So this is a good way to end the show. It's all about the slow grind, guys. You guys be up there messing with these guys so quick. We need to see what they like, what they into. All right? And then if you meet Chris Rock and you try to get paid, you better be slow. Now, if you bad Chris Rock after I told you that, you better go ahead and take me shopping too because I put you on, all right? But, um, yeah, I will post this episode of Coach Coochie the Morning. Once again, thank you for listening to Coach Coochie the Morning. If you would like to sponsor the show, please DM me as well. We'll get your business out here as well because, you know, we post everybody businesses that, that do business with us. We really appreciate everybody. Send us a Coach Cooch question because we will, we are here to help you out at 8 o'clock in the motherfreaking morning. I know I got meetings at 9 o'clock, but that don't matter. We are here for 8 o'clock in the morning. And, um, yeah, once again, this is um Coach Cooch in the morning, sponsored by New Vision Tech Solutions. I thank you guys for listening today, and have a nice day. It's 8.55 in the morning. Peace.